Hey guys, I hope everybody is having a great day for today's video. Oops, I will be doing a set on my practice hand. It's been a while. I ran out of my tips I normally use. So this one in particular gives me a very hard time, but we're going to work with it. I'm going to show you guys the acrylics I will be using today. These are from Zoe. Um, I believe she is no longer in business. Um, this is in Honey Melon baby boy and lavender then i'm also going to use please me um you guys can obviously find similar colors um a lot of different companies have them so for my nude i'll be using nude panther if you guys are new here please make sure you subscribe you hit the like button and yeah so let's get into it so with these acrylics they do give me a hard time but we're gonna work with them because I wanna use them up. They're a bit on the chalky side, and sh like, I think they're meant for the one, the one beat application method. So, trying to use them for this ombre, it worked, but it was super hard <laughs> to blend them upwards, but I blended down my ombre pretty low to help cover it as much as I could. As you guys can see, the consistency is really, it looks fine here, but you'll see whenever I do drag it a little bit, the chalkiness just takes over. Um, and then I try to blend them up and it just doesn't blend easily at all. So these would be good for like all over one color, but I really liked these colors for the set I was trying to do. So I'm gonna let you guys watch as I struggle with these and this little pinky nail that keeps coming out on me. <laughs> um, and then I will pop back in in just a second. Well, actually, let me let, let me tell you guys the products that I'm using um, as for like monomer. I am using Young Nails and then for my brush it's a size 12 not polish the tips are not polish long extra long c-curve square tips so yeah now I'll let you guys watch me struggle with these acrylics and i will be right back I do keep wiping my brush like crazy because these get stuck in your brush like a lot um, and then this blue one it was just terrible to work with um, I think it gave me the hardest time but then for the pointer finger you guys will see I'm using the knot polish and you'll see the difference when it comes to like the blending and the application and stuff. There is a little bit cut out, but that was because my daughter um, kept putting her hands in the way, so I just cut the little bit out, but you guys get to see most of it. And then I move on with my ombre. With my ombre, I tried to, I hadn't done ombre in a while, so I did struggle with the first couple and then it got a little bit better then I also had to drag it down pretty low just to try to cover that crazy line where it transitions 
but yeah you see how this one applies way better it's so smooth i love these not polish um acrylics they're so amazing they're my favorite um so yeah and then we are going to move on to the ombre as you guys can see i'm going to try to do a little bit and then i'm just slightly dragging down with very light pressure and then i don't want it so low so i at first i started to do them pretty high and then i ended up blending my ombre like super low like on the middle finger you guys will be able to see how low i went and that wasn't entirely on purpose i just couldn't get my ombre to be super perfect on that so i went back and ombre them a little bit lower but yeah this is the perfect nude I love this to ombre it's so nice and like i said not polished acrylics are super blendable i'm gonna let you guys watch this and i'll be right back I'm moving on to the encapsulation and for this I'm using Mia Secret Clear. I actually really like this clear and I specifically use it on my practice hand because I have a huge container of it and I just have plenty so that's what I'm doing here. I'm just taking as many beads as I think I need going in there and just trying to encapsulate that very well. So then after I encapsulate, I will leave out the filing just to cut down time on the video. And then we're going to move on to the nail art, which was one of my favorite parts of the set. So I'll let this play and then I will pop back in when the nail art starts.
So here's what they look like and then this is what they look like after I filed. I noticed that the lavender one is a bit rounded at the top so I wanted to straighten that up a little bit. So I'm just taking the file and filing kind of down towards me to try to straighten that out. And then now I'm going to move on to showing you guys the gel that I will be using. I'm just cleaning this off um, as much as I can. Alright, so the colors we will be using are Electric Rose. I thought the name was on the bottom, but it's actually on the sticker. I Lime You by Madame Glam. The other one's Nail Addict. This is Profiles Backstage in Lavender. And this is Madame Glam in Blueberry Cream. I do have links for all of these down below. Uh, this is Magic Matte. Not links, um, codes. So you guys can use my code to save some money if you guys are interested in the gels. So, I'm going to start off by applying this matte top coat, again from Profiles Backstage. It's actually a really good matte top coat. I hadn't ever really used it much, but it's actually really good. I haven't worn it, so I can't say how it is, um, like how well it wears, but um, I'll have to definitely do a set and test it for you guys but as as far as it like applies and stuff i really really like it and the look of it all right so i started off with this blue and i'm just doing like a deep french and trying to make it as perfect as possible and i'm gonna go ahead and do this for all the fingers it did take me a bit because i'm freehanding all of them I'm just thickening them up a little bit once I have them um, as I like them. I'm going to move on to the next one. My hand was giving me a hard time. Alright, so the next color is this purple. Doing the same thing. I feel like a longer brush would have helped, but I didn't do too terrible with this. So I'm just going to keep doing that. And then I'm going to add some flowers. I'm going to do some sugaring as well. So I'm going to let this play and I'll be right back. Okay, so none of these are cured. Now I'm going in with Sugar Effect from Not Polish. And I'm making sure I get uh, all the gel covered with the glitter. And then we're going to cure for a full 60 seconds. So I'm just making sure I have it all over. Alright, so this is after I cure. Now I'm just going in with my brush. Oops. And um, just removing all of that glitter. And here is what they look like. Look at how cute. Absolutely love, love the look of um, the sugar, the sugaring. I think it's so nice. So now I'm adding my little white flowers. I got these on Shein. They were like $1.50 or $2. Um, if you go watch my Shein haul, you guys can see those on there. And at first I had added several flowers. And I didn't like the look at 
the look of it i wanted something a little bit more simple so then i just decided to do the small ones just to add a little touch so i'm adding those on and then i'm going to be adding the little centers in and for that i just put the slightest dab of glue and then i'm going to take the little caviar beads and place them carefully like so and then once i finished doing this i felt like it needed something more and i lost the little bead um i do end up fixing that though um i added white like another french tip layer kind of i don't know what you would call it but here's what this looks like so far I'm trying to get those straight it's not cooperating i don't know why these don't come with the little centers already it would help a lot <laughs> all right so now that we've got that done i kept looking at them and as you guys can see i added that white liner and i did the same thing that i did the first time i am just adding it because i feel like it needed something and i feel like i ended up loving the white on it so that's pretty much it guys i hope that you enjoyed this video if you're still here thank you thank you thank you so much and make sure you gave this video a like for me so my daughter did a lot better today when i was recording so i hope that means i can record a lot more for you guys but that is everything for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed and i will see you guys next time